whole rate of radiation it allows to deliver uh, a dose of radiation over several fractions typically uh so two so it's two grade per fraction and we can fraction it that, that over uh you know 10 fractions or more depending on patient's functional status and uh practically it's now more commonly reserved for the patients who have multiple brain metastases tiny lesions but just too much for for uh, for srs and also for those with poor functional status uh, uh patients who have poor prognosis just to ensure their uh control of intracranial disease uh, rather than go for curative uh, approaches. Um, so SRS, what it does, it allows better intracranial, so it decreases the likelihood of, uh, of distal recurrences. So it helps to control the local disease because we already did the whole brain, but also treats the, the, any lesions that there are outside of the brain. But what's a problem with that is that uh, we treat the lesion target, but we also irradiate the whole brain in healthy brain tissue. And that can cause important uh, adverse events for patients, such as cognitive function deterioration, uh, uh, decrease of quality of life. And this can be very important for patients who have cancer with, that, with good prognosis, such as, for example, differentiated thyroid cancer. So memantidine and hippocampal avo uh, avoidance are now uh, also used with radiation, whole brain radiation therapy to decrease the likelihood of this. Uh, of this